You know, I find it interesting when people diagnose people when they're looking for particular patterns. Because when they're looking for very specific patterns, it says a lot about them as the person doing the diagnosis. Because they're selecting that information to support a particular premise. It supports the idea that they've actually got some kind of problem with pattern seeking. Although we're all pattern seekers in that sense. It's part of our evolution. So really, when you have people picking out patterns, they're doing what their, what their mind does normally, really. But in a more exaggerated way. So it's very hard to actually get that kind of information forward. And you have people now, with the New Age, of course, filling in the gaps. They claim to be psychics, they claim to be channelers, they claim to have connections to higher powers. And as a result, they can say, oh, well, uh, that isn't me pattern seeking. That's my angels or spirit guides or aliens, or it's them using remote viewing, astral projection, whichever terms they prefer. And if that was true, you would expect a high level of accuracy. But what do you find instead? Well, what you find instead, you find inadequacy. You find a lack of decent information. You find a lot of theories, a lot of ideas, a lot of concepts, but nothing that really lands well. You find things that don't really work. Things that are claimed, and they'll keep on claiming them to their friends who are equally as deluded, but in reality, they don't work. Because when we're talking about deluded individuals, pushing forward with an idea that they have absolute faith in. Is it any wonder they just keep on finding results? They believe so devoutly they'll keep on finding those positive results and they'll claim that you, you're not open-minded enough to see the evidence, even though their idea of evidence is personal experience very often, or simply reading the right books. And they'll claim that you have the issues, they can't have the issues, even if they have a fully documented history of mental illness. You know, they could have been bouncing around the rubber cell last week, but they'll call you mentally unstable because they have the belief that their, well, their belief, their faith, is the ultimate truth. And for you to reject that, well, there's only several options, isn't there? You're either deluded yourself or you're part of some kind of conspiracy. Ah! 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 Pinwheels! Pinwheels in my head! Voices! Angry fish!